How's everybody doing tonight? Uh, welcome back to the channel. So I realized I haven't opened any Throne of Eldrain really, uh, at least not full boxes or big amounts of packs since November. All this Theros stuff is, uh, man, been pretty overwhelming lately. So it's been pretty crazy. Um, well, I did open the Brawl decks, but uh, for the most part, I haven't opened a booster box in quite a while. And this box is still ranking as one of the best values out there right now in a current set uh it's <laughs> it's got more value in it than theros the brand new set it seems so let's see if that holds true let's open a full box of throne of eldraine and see what kind of value we get out of here um it's everybody everybody i've been seeing open these recently has just been getting killer pulls and i seem to remember always getting good pulls out of these boxes so let's open it up and see what happens. We'll give it a shot here. Thirty-six packs of fairy tale goodness. <laughs> so these boxes aren't as consistent as the Theros boxes. The Theros boxes, pretty much, you're guaranteed every box you open to either get a constellation god or a full art planeswalker. These boxes are not so consistent with that. Uh, probably because there's no Constellation God, but you know. <laughs> run away together. Good com good common card right there. Um, yeah, there's. you'll sometimes get the Full Art Planeswalkers, and you'll sometimes get Crazy Foils, but it's not a, a guaranteed thing like the Theros boxes, really. So, let's see what we get here. All right. Overwhelmed Apprentice, Sire Kara, Grumgully. And fail wishes, first pack, and we got a full rare first pack, midnight clock. Not the full rare we were hoping for. That's kind of kind of bogus. Eh, not 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 real happy about that one. Um, could be a cool card, but ooh, fail wishes has gone down. It's only a dollar. Wonder how much the full midnight clock is. I'm gonna guess forty cents. <laughs> but it's oh wait, the the non foil is forty seven cents, so it's probably more than that. Let me let me find out real quick here. Um, 99 cents. It's almost a dollar. Big money. <laughs> Not really. Just kidding. So, Fay of Wishes, I'm kind of surprised that one's gone down so much. It's probably just because the alternate arts are more popular and the foils and all that. Uh, Throne does suffer from the Theros problem of having just way too many variations of every single card in the set. Uh, Elite Headhunter, Animating Fairy, Witch's Oven, and hey, an alternate art giant killer. Not really worth anything because giants are not a very popular creature um, type, but yeah, 59 cents for that guy. So not doing so good. Let's uh, let's go ahead and even though it's nothing worth anything, we'll go ahead and we'll put all the uh, alternate arts, all the fairy tale borders or whatever they call them, storybook art, whatever they call them. We'll put all those aside and uh, all the uh, rares anyway. So see how many we get. Lucky Clover. This thing can get really out of control with the right build. <laughs> you can get you can get just wacky with this thing. Turn it into Pumpkin, uh, Mysterious Path Lighter, and Witch, Witch Claw Talisman. So people are kind of torn on this card. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Um, I really don't have an opinion yet because I haven't really looked into it enough to find out. But it's only 71 cents. So value-wise, it's not going to make our cut. So, so far, we literally have not gotten a single valuable card out of the set. Because if you watch my videos, you know anything under a buck fifty, I don't count. So, all right, Wonder Mare, Clockwork Servant, I see another foil, Archon of Absolution, and Feasting Troll King. Wow. Uh, oh, a foil Mystic Sanctuary. Believe it or not, that foil common is probably the most valuable card we've gotten so far in this box. Let me check the Troll King, but I think he's just a troll. He's just trolling us as usual. Yep, 47 cents. Let me check the Sanctuary, though. The Sanctuary might actually make the cut. I think it's right around that dollar range. Um, yeah, the scanner can't see it. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. Oh, scanner can't see it. Too foily. The foil is pretty nice on this thing. It, it is quite foily. Good looking card. I'll have to check that one later. But uh, that one might actually be the first card. Eh, I think it's right around a buck, so I don't think it's over a buck fifty. So, 
Probably not. I'm probably still striking out here. All right. Winter more, Commander. Frosty the Wilds, Rampart Smasher, and Charming Prince. Wow, we're really, we're really just swinging and missing. Oh boy, let's uh, take through these a little faster because we're uh, we're looking pretty dismal here at the start. This is possibly the worst thrown opening so far I've ever seen. <laughs> Hopefully, it picks up. Come on, sirs, Mad Ratter, Inspiring Veteran, Hushbringer, little uh, little hushy boy here. Uh, very unusual artwork. A little, a little too art artistic for me. Oh, only a dollar eleven. Still doesn't make the cut. Just because of all the extended arts and the foils and all that. This is a great card though. This card is being used a lot and is very effective. Uh, has caused me some problems in <laughs> in the arena. Uh, somebody had one of those out and I completely forgot about the. Uh, the creatures entering the battlefield or dying don't cause abilities to trigger thing. And I was running this deck where uh, I had cards that came in that gave other creatures counters. And I wasn't getting the counters. I'm like, what the hell? How come I'm not getting my counters? Stupid game's messed up. And then I remembered the Hushbringers. I was like, oh, oh yeah, that's why. Uh, Hypnotic Sprite, get a little uncommon. Deafening Silence, great little uncommon. Uh, Fairy Vandal, another great little uncommon, and Brazen Borrower, there we go, about time we picked up a little, and a Foil Ardenvale Paladin. So the Brazen Borrower, now that is, I think, the most expensive card in the set currently, as far as uh, non-alternate art, non-craziness, yep, twenty-five forty-nine. so just like that, we paid for, but, uh, almost a third of the box, about, about a quarter, definitely over a quarter of the box already. So there we go. One card. And just like that, your luck turns around. <laughs> Could have been a full brazen borrower, but you know, hey. That would have paid for half the box. Claim the firstborn. A lot of people don't like these steal somebody else's creatures and beat them down with it. Personally, I kinda like it. <laughs> I think it's I think it's just adding insult to injury. I kinda like them. Improbable Alliance, great card for sealed. Eh, I don't know that it's really going to make its way into any kind of standard. Sundering Stroke. I'm uh, pretty sure that one's not worth anything. Um, just too expensive on the mana cost. Yep, 33 cents. Seven mana is a no-go. It's got to be doing something really awesome to play to pay seven mana for it. So, All right. And seven damage is not awesome enough. It was ten, maybe. Uh, Cup of the Surge. Keeper of Fables. Trail of Crumbs, Clackbridge Troll. Yeah, pretty sure he's well under a buck. Yep, 52 cents. That's what I thought. All right, keep going. Hopefully we get another nice big hit like the Borrower, but I don't think so because we already got the Borrower, and there's not really many hits like that in there. <laughs> Although, uh, what is it, Fable Passage. That, that one's a $20 rare, so that's a good one. Shine Chaser, Bog Naughty, into the story. Black Lance Paragon, he's a, he might be going up a little bit. He's he's proven to be pretty useful in, in, in a constructed here. Oh, wait. 50 cents, wow, even the Paragon's not worth anything. That's pretty crazy. Uh, I guess he really only works real well in uh, night builds. But still, I see a lot of people using him to very good luck on, uh, on Arena. Okay, I'm Ranger. Falmire Knight, another good little good little uncommon. Mysterious Pathlayer, and Ventress Gargoyle. The good old Gargoyle. Uh, and a Foil Lost Legion. Uh, put him up there. He's just a common. You know, the Gargoyle is only 60 cents. So, a lot of these cards have gone down in this set. Everybody's talking about how this one's still holding a lot of value, but, you know, I'm seeing a lot of the cards have gone down. A lot of the big money cards are still holding up some really good value. But the, the, the majority of the cards have kind of dropped a little bit since the new set came out, I've noticed. Um, and it could be because of the collector's boxes with this set as well. Uh, Resolute Rider, Cy Eleonora, Archon of Absolution, Sorcerer Spyglass. Yeah, we know that one's not worth anything. So <laughs> yeah, I'll check it just in case. Just because. Just because. I don't know, it's not worth anything. Maybe I won't check it. The scanner says no. 
Canner is being difficult today. Yeah, 50 cents. That's what I thought. All right. Keep it going here. I haven't seen many of the uh, alternate border cards unless I've just been missing them. Ember Shieldbreaker, Mystical Dispute, Sage of the Falls, Yarvo, Lord of Gallenbrig, Lord of the 50 Cent Bin. Oh, 61 cents. I was wrong. <laughs> Missed it, my That much. All right. Uh, oops. Packs are falling out already. Sold down in there. All right. So, Drown the Lock. Another really good uncommon. Shepherd of the Flock. Hey, Drown the Lock, Shepherd of the Flock. I'm a poet. Didn't even know it. Joust. Uh, and the worst mythic ever created. The Outlaw's Merriment. Nobody has ever married to see that stupid card. Oh, worst mythic ever. So, we're getting all the worst rares and the worst mythics in the first third of the box here. Going into the second third of the box. Hopefully it picks up a little, because uh, at this point, we're not going to make our money back. <laughs> Inquisitive Puppet, Bognotte, into the story. Castle Embereth, good land, uh, and a foil Reeve Soul. So the rare lands in this uh, set, not highly respected, but everybody's using them. It's crazy. It's like everybody's, dollar eighty. there's our second card <laughs> that actually makes value in here. There's our second hit is a Castle Embereth. For a dollar eighty, our first hit was a twenty-five dollar card. <laughs> I mean, it's like, wow, you're either in or out with this set. <laughs> That's kind of funny. Our only two hits are twenty-five dollars and a dollar eighty. <laughs> Enchanted Carriage, Fireborn Knight, Sir Ellen, and Emery. There we go, bringing some value to the board, and a foil Ember Seal Breaker. What's Emery now? Let's check i haven't checked in a couple days oh he's 283 so not a major hit but he is a really useful card one of those cards that i'm uh probably gonna hold on to a play set for myself uh just because i have a feeling i'm gonna end up building a deck around him one of these days or at least he's gonna come in really handy in a deck i built <laughs> lucky clover skullknocker ogre sire and eleonora Stormfish Crusader. Whew. Yeah, we're just, uh, we're not having the best box here so far. The first half of this box has been, like, one good hit, and the rest, man. I remember when uh, Emery was, like, a $10 card, though. It was the, the, the good old days of, like, a month ago. Enchanted Carriage, Order of Midnight, Venerable Knight, and Escape to the Wilds. Kind of a cool card in a certain deck. But not terribly useful overall. I'll check it, but I don't think it's really any. And uh, Prophet of the Peak Foil. Yeah, Skip to the Wild is 34 cents. I didn't check the Crusader. I'll check him just for giggles, but I don't think he's over a buck either. Yeah, 50 cents. All right, so. This is basically a display of all the worst rares you could possibly hope to get in the box. If you're looking for really bad bulk rares, uh, here you go. This is this is the video for you. <laughs> Once in future, Spectre Sheik, Shriek, and Lock Dragon. Once upon a time, finally, like another good hit. And a Hypnotic Sprite Foil. Lots of foil on that little guy. Yeah, the Once Upon a Time is 6.55, so finally another decent hit. Uh, the box is not looking so good so far. We're halfway through and uh, not even close to halfway paying off the box yet. So We need some good hits in the close here. Hopefully this is just a slow start <laughs> box. Merrily Pixie, another uh, showcase border finally. Showcase, I don't know what they call it. Storybook, showcase, something, fairy tale. Uh, Savvy Hunter and Ayara, fist, first of the Lothwain. I think she might actually be gaining a little bit of a little bit of strength because um, she's being stacked a lot here recently. Yep, she's actually up to 280, so a little bit over. Not a, not a big hit, but a couple bucks on the board. So, moving in the right direction, at least. We're starting to get a little bit more consistent pulls. Yeah, usually it's like the first kind of half of the first stack. It seems to be the, my better hits, but not in this box. Steel Claw Lance, Sambling Suit, Kenner's Transformation, and the Castle Garenbrig. Uh, good, good land. I, I really like the rare lands in this, uh, this set. 
They're not duels, which is, eh, is what it is, but oh, $3 card. There you go. Um, so they're not duels, but they are, they are really useful. Um, they do have the, the likeliness that they could come into play tapped if that's the only land in your opening hand. But if that's the only land in your opening hand, why did you not mulligan? You should have mulliganed. Um, Shambling Suit, Sage of the Falls, Arcanist Owl, and Harmonist Archon, another mythic. Uh, not a great mythic, but a mythic. Uh, foil Plains, got another foil. The Archon is 67 cent. Really? Really? 67? Wow. Holy moly, that card has not held up well. Wasn't that like a couple dollar card originally? And now it's down to 67 cents. Yeah, I'm not liking that. Not liking that at all. All right. Uh, Deathless Knight. Glass Casket. That's uh, one I keep getting in the promo packs. Anytime I, I place in a, in a draft, I end up uh, pulling a glass casket with the full art, the kind of see-through border. Uh, Thunder Snapper and Piper of the Swarm, the most overprinted card in the set because this is the foil that they put in all the bundle packs. I'm not even going to bother because I know it's not worth anything. Savvy Hunter Foil. And we are now two-thirds of the way through the box and not looking hot at all. Uh, still having we're right about halfway point on paying for the box, but that's including a lot of bulk stuff. Glass Casket again. Giant Opportunity. Rampart Smasher again. Gadwick the Wizened. Eh. I know he's not really worth anything. All right, so let's hope this last stack is just full of goodness to make up for the other two stacks that were not really full of goodness. I mean, we got the Brazen Borrower, which is nice. That is the most expensive card in the set, but that alone will not pay for a box. <laughs> uh, Fireborn Knight, Sire Farron, Burning Yard Trainer, Worthy Knight. He's not worthy of much more than a quarter bin. So, not good. Not a good way to start this last stack, because this last stack really needs to pick it up for us here. So, not looking so hot. Revenge of the Raven. I can't believe that's the first one of those we've gotten. This card is epic. Epic in draft. If you're drafting Throne and you pass one of these, just just, just leave. Just go home. <laughs> Even if you're not going to stack black, hate draft this thing, because it is not fun to be on the receiving end of. <laughs> this card is awesome. Uh, Red Cap Melee. Kenrith's Transformation, and the old Wicked Wolf. Uh, probably 60 cents. I'll guess 60 cents. Oh, $1.24. He almost made the cut. Look at that. He must have gone up a little because I don't think he was worth that much before. Somebody must be stacking him in some kind of deck. So you guys think of those new, uh, the new Challenger decks that I uh, posted the video about a couple nights ago. Um, they look pretty awesome. I think I'm definitely going to grab some. Definitely grab something to open on here. Tournament Grounds, Arcanist Owl again. Isn't that like the 17th Arcanist Owl we got in this box? Bell the Brawl, Bone Crusher Giant. Uh, I don't think the regular one is worth much of anything, but he is an awesome card. If you're running red, you should be running the Bone Crusher. Oh, yeah, it's still 350. Still a good card. Or still good value, and even on the, the standard one, even though there's. 17 versions of that card and all of them look much cooler than that one <laughs> so yeah i've got a whole bunch of those uh i got i think i got a, got a bunch of the showcase or storybook frames or whatever they call it out of the uh, collector's packs there in foil and non-foil so i got a stack of those um rally for the throne okay I'm adversary adversary and Thunderous Snapper and Murderous Rider. There we go. Now we're starting to pick up a little bit of steam. Murderous Rider is a great card. Uh, basically a built-in terror that costs you two life. Yeah, 650. And uh, and you get a 2-3 lifelink creature out of it for three. So, I mean, he just, he's an awesome card. I think pretty much anybody that's running black is running that card. If they're not, they're probably not running black correctly. <laughs> I'm just kidding, people. Don't take me so seriously. Uh, Hypnotic Sprite, Deafening Silence, Sarah Farron, 
from the Cauldron of Eternity, our fourth mythic and our fourth whiff. Oh, but look at that. Right behind it, we got a foil Murderous Rider with the alternate frame. The Cauldron's 250. The Murderous Rider, however, I have a feeling is going to be maybe double digits. Let's see. The regular one's 736. The foil is 1395. There we go. That makes up for it. Now the box is looking a little better. We're almost to breaking even on the box now. Thanks to that Murderous Rider picking it up a little. Two Murderous Riders and two packs, actually. Can't beat that. All right, so. Mm, here we go. Sorcerer's Broom. I think that's the first one of those I've seen tonight. Trail of Crumbs. Sir Conrad. Emberclee. <laughs> nice. Well, this last stack is not disappointing. Um... Uh, I don't know if anybody stuck around this long to, to see this, but now we're picking it up. We got five Mythics. One of them's a Brazen Burrow. One of them's an Embercleave. So that is epic. The Embercleave just put us over. So we are now a couple cents in the positive on the box. So that is awesome. Thank you, Embercleave. Coming in at the end here. That's a card I've been having trouble getting. I haven't gotten many of the Embercleaves. I've opened a lot of Throne. I have gotten very few Embercleaves. That, I think that's the hardest Mythic to get, to be honest, in the set. Uh, Wintermore Commander, Joust, Edgewall Innkeeper, and Fair Barrel Elder. Uh, I think he was up above a buck fifty at one point, but yeah, he didn't stay there. He's a dollar three now. So, all right, five packs left. Hopefully you stuck around to see the, the goodies at the end here. This is a very slow start to a box. Um, I imagine a lot of people probably took off pretty early on this one. But hopefully some of you stayed around. Uh, Epic Downfall, great little removal spell for bigger creatures. Okam Ranger, finally another uh, storybook art. All the Glitters, great little card. And uh, surprised we haven't seen any more of those. Um, Realm Cloak Giant Mythic, holy moly, with a showcase ram. So we got... Six Mythics in this box? That's six Mythics. Whoa. That I didn't see coming. Has anybody ever seen six Mythics? That was a $5 Mythic with the with the, uh, the Storybook. Okay, is it Storybook? Is it Showcase? Is it Alternate? I don't know. Let me know in the comments what everybody's, what the official wizard's name for it is. What does Watchy call this? Is it Storybook? Is it? Showcase, it's an alternate. I don't know. Everybody on every video calls it something different. I don't even know. I haven't even looked. <laughs> I don't go to Wizards site very often because every time I go there, they try and sell me some kind of new flashy single card product lately. Spectre Shriek, <laughs> Righteousness, Bill the Brawl, Torbran, yay! Uh, I love Torbran. I think he is just epic. He's turned mono red into just this unstoppable beast here lately. 368 to prove it, too. Um, so he's actually worth a little bit of money, even though he's not the, that's just the regular frame. It's not the, not the showcase frame. The, the app is calling it, my scanner app, uh, TCG player apps calling them showcase frames. Um, I've heard storybook frame, I've heard fairy tale frame, and I've heard showcase. Uh, I'm not sure. You let me know in the comments what the official Watsi version is. Giant Opportunity, Witch's Oven, Red Cap Melee, Castle Lachtwain, the most expensive of the castles. Because anything that says draw a card is going to be worth money. Yep, 619. So we're starting to get some good hits at the end. And I'm really glad because I was getting a little worried there. Just getting a little bit worried about the, the lack of value in the, in the early half of this box. Or early two-thirds of this box. Mystical Dispute, Heraldic Banner, Slaying Fire... Opportunistic Dragon. Not very opportunistic. Oh, but we got a full Castle Embereth. Ah, look at that. A second fall rare. I am not complaining. Um, hey, it actually read it. Uh, did it read it? Uh, where is it? Where is it? Oh, uh, yeah. It, it showed up as a regular one in this app. Not the best app. Um, all right. Let me get a fall one here. Nope. That's not a Yarbo. Cancel. Oh, man. This app is terrible. I'm sorry. So, full Castle Garen Brew. <laughs> Not even on the camera because I'm trying to pay attention to two things at the same time here. Oh, uh, I'll get this multitasking thing here eventually. 
All right, so two bucks for the foil one. So I'm kind of kind of surprised if 180 for the regular and two bucks for the foil. That just that just kind of shocking. Um, yeah, kind of surprised about that. But anyway, here we go. Last pack, last one. This has been a quite a journey here. What a weird journey. We started off really, really slow, and man, did we pick it up at the end here. All right, last pack. What are we going to get? Flaxen Intruder, Tournament Grounds, OCAM Adversary, and Stolen by the Fae at the very end. Oh, no extra flow. All right, so I really appreciate everybody sticking around. That was kind of a crazy opening. I bet a lot of people took off early on thinking we weren't going to get anything. But we did end up pulling out some value at the end. Looks like... It was about a $110 box, so I can't complain about that. You know, the, yeah, the ember cleave at the end there, and then a whole bunch, like every pack seemed to be for a while there, was pulling out something that was worth at least a few bucks. So, and then we got some good foils. We got the Murderous Rider, and we got the Castle Embereth foils. Those were big. Um, yeah, but that, that ember cleave, that kind of saved the day there, I think. And then a good steady, steady stream of good money there. So there you have it. These boxes, even when they look at their worst at the beginning, end up pulling through and providing some financial stability here for the game. So <laughs> let me know what you think of Throne. I still think it's just an awesome set. It's very versatile. It's great for draft. A lot better than the Theros set is when it comes to draft. Um, Theros is very difficult to draft. I'm still having trouble with it. Um, but... Let me know what you guys think in the comments, and I really appreciate you sticking around. I'm sure there's a couple other video suggestions up in the corners here you can check out, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one. Thanks, guys. Bye.